Hi traders, welcome to my live trading session and today just like last time I'm going to do a little bit more educational format so let me know in the comments right here below if you liked it I should know whether to continue it or stop it and go back to the old format now I'm looking at four different stocks as you can see Baba is coming down and Nvidia is coming down and Tesla is coming down the only one that is moving up is Boeing. Now I'm going to share the reason for that a little bit later but now I'm trying to figure out whether I have a good opportunity to go long Boeing. So I'm watching the chart trying to imagine what will happen if it will move higher and soon I'm going to pause the chart and I'm going to ask you the question where should be my entry point. So again Boeing moved up almost closed the gap now it's showing me a small green candle and I'm trying to think what will happen if it's going to move higher and I'm going to show you three options right now I'm going to tell you later which is my option so should we buy Boeing assuming it moves it moves higher over 174.70 that's choice A should we buy Boeing over 174.80 that's choice B what is your opinion or should you buy it over the highs which is 174.87 now I'm going to give you just a few seconds to think about that what is your opinion and I'm going to share my opinion so my choice is B I want to buy it over 174.80 I do not want to buy it over the highs buying it over the highs means it's probably going to spike higher it's the first few minutes a lot of volume and I'm just not going to have the chance to buy it I'm going to buy it a little bit before expecting it to move to a new high now 174.70 is a little bit too early I want to buy it a little bit afterwards so it will prove to me that it wants to move higher so I'm being prepared now to buy 4000 it just spiked up I'm buying and you can see that my purchase price is 174.92 so I did not manage to buy it at 174.80 but if I would have tried to buy it over the highs I would never get it at this price so I did the right thing but it did spike up very strongly and I just didn't get the chance to um, to buy it exactly where I wanted but nevertheless I'm in with 4,000 shares it's a bit spready right now and now comes the decision as to where to place my stop loss so uh, before that I want to share with you the idea as to why I chose Boeing today and for this you need to take a look at what I would call a sister company which is American Airlines it's not just American Airlines it's the airlines now take a look at American Airlines it's up 1.1 1 .1, 1 almost 1.2 percent it's spiking higher it's very very strong and Boeing normally joins the airlines so I'm looking at several stocks which are coming down I'm looking at Boeing which is moving higher I'm looking at the airlines which are spiking higher it's not only American Airlines and that's why I consider concentrated on Boeing so the next question is going to be okay where should be my stop loss I mean definitely you have to think about it before you buy but let's try and figure out should it be 174.70 a cent under or maybe I should put my stop at 174.55 that's choice B or should I have my stop a little bit lower than that at 174.40 what is your opinion what do you think I should choose okay I give you a few seconds here to think and then I'll share my answer with you so my choice will be under the lows uh, actually option uh, A 174.40 the lowest point the reason for that it's the first few minutes uh, Boeing is very volatile you can see from the previous behavior that its volatility is somewhere around 60 cents or so so if I'm if I'm going to have a, a, a stop which is too tight I'm just not going to be able to stay in this trade I mean just a small move down could just throw me out of the trade so I need to be reasonable as to my stop loss and the only reasonable place is to place it somewhere under 174.70 now of course this is not an exact science but as long as you give it a little bit more space your chance to succeed is greater now assuming that I would uh, use this stop I'm um, the next idea is trying to figure out where should be my target now my stop now is based on 
uh, buying it at 174.92 and stop loss which is 50 cents lower so what should be my target i'm trying to figure out if i'm going to lose maximum around 50 cents or so what should be the, per the selling price i should i should take should i look for a 0 0.5 dollars 50 cents move up which is a one-to-one -one risk reward should i look for a one point move which is a one-to-two risk reward or maybe a one-to-three risk reward which is one and a half dollar well my answer is um, for me quite simple i always use a one-to-one -one risk reward which means if i'm risking 50 cents again stop loss under 174.40 purchase price 174.92 approximately 50 cents I will be looking for 50 cents it does not mean that I'm going to be strict on that if the stock is touching my target I will let it move further so I'll try and get a little bit more than I was looking for it's not that I'm having a limit order to sell at the point where I decided I'm going to sell so again I'm looking for a 50 cent target because again it's very early and I want to use the spikes and I, I'm, I'm afraid of the volatility and I don't know whether I could get one dollar or more but again it's a different idea but with different traders now look at uh, the breakout over the recent highs here which we're just about to see and look at the way it really about to spike higher so it's touching the highs right now which is of course an established resistance and there goes the breakout now look at how fast it gets to my target my target is 174.40 it just passed it 175.60 my target was 175 of course 40 now it's 60 and I'm getting ready to uh, sell it's more 25 cents sell more and I sold well approximately 10 to 15 cents more than I was looking for now again if I'm trying to get a one-to-one -one risk reward I'm not taking the exact risk uh, the exact target I was planning I'm trying to get a little bit more out of it so I'm trying to improve my risk reward you always have to think about it in a way that when you trade you try to respect your stop loss but sometimes there's slippage sometimes you just can't you know take the stop loss sometimes you let it move a little bit lower which is a very human thing to do so if, if I know that on average my stop loss is not exactly as I planned like around 50 cents maybe it's going to be 60 cents I need to try very very hard to take my profit at a little bit more than a one-to-one -one risk reward because this little bit more than a one-to-one -one risk reward is actually what's going to make it on average a one-to-one -one risk reward assuming that my stop loss is a little bit more than I planned and of course the slippages and so on so right now I've got uh, 400 shares left and it spiked up even more than I expected you can see that it's trending uh, uh, it's it, just touched 175.90 that's a new high I'm looking for the first point of a pullback and I'm about to sell another 300 shares which I believe should be right now and I'm selling and I'm leaving just 100 shares so that's about uh, how I traded uh, Boeing today and um, I don't know if your answers were the same as mine but let me just tell you that uh, each and every trader should have his own style and my style is not necessarily your style I'm, I'm trying to you know give you the basic idea as to how I trade so that you will understand the way I'm thinking and what I'm choosing but again if you have a different way a different style there's nothing wrong about it anyway here are my results today I've got uh, $2,700 profit in Boeing uh, Nvidia also had a nice trade and I had a losing trade in Tesla so the end result for this short after Thanksgiving day low volume day market is just about to get closed at uh, one o'clock is very nice just over three thousand dollars thank you very much for watching I hope to enjoy this format and again let me know in the comments below and please remember the trading is extremely hard so when you start trading please start with the demo there's plenty of links right here below to a Colmex platform demo which you can start without opening an account so just 
trade the demo. Remember the trading is extremely hard and you can also use, if you look at this video today, at the first day, you can probably still join our Black Friday deals, which are still on. And again, links right here below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.